Hi, welcome back to another video. We're going to crack on and get straight into this set because there is a lot to do. Right, I've put four tips on my tip stands and I'm going to go in with this colour from Madame Glam, which is called Shaka. Um, I'm just going to do the top part of that um, full cover tip and then I'm just going to feather it out underneath So, because I want to butt up to it with another colour. So we're going to do, I'll do two of these and then on the next one um, I did a nail bed. But we're just going to finish this one off quickly. So I did two coats on camera and I think I did one more coat off camera. That... Um, Shaka is not quite as pigmented as what I thought it was going to be, but hey ho, never mind. I wanted a light pink, you see, so but I didn't want more of a whitey pink, I wanted a pinky pink. I did, so I am literally just doing the same again. I'd got a flaming bristle what had <laughs> what had curled up and I couldn't get rid of it and it was making the gel polish go all funny on the nail so I had to stop quickly and just um, pull it out okay so on this one I forgot to start the camera um, but basically I've just done a, a nail bed shape on that nail and then I'm just going to fill it in but in the end, even though I did this nail, I actually swapped it for another full cover of the colour that I'm going to put on in a minute. So I'm doing this for nothing really. <laughs> a bit daft, but hey ho. Right, we have got Lightboard, which was uh, one of the ones that I um, swatched the other day from the latest collection. Um... I chose this colour because it's yellow and I love yellow. So I did, in the end, do two full colours of yellow. But you will only see me do one because at the moment I was only doing one. Or I was only planning to do one. And then this is the one that I filled in. But this is the one that I, in the end, when I put it with the set, I just didn't like how it looked. So I wasn't keen and I thought, no, I don't know what it was about it, what I didn't like. But there was just some, it was bugging me. And if I don't like some, I think to myself, no, don't like it. Take it away. So I did all that for nothing, but hey-ho. It was good practice to do a nail bed shape, so. I suppose in theory I could have cut this out. But I thought I'd leave it in. Right, back onto these ones. We are going to do that light born colour so I'm going to do that as far as I can and then just get some on my sponge and just feather that out a little bit um, what I ended up doing was um, I did two coats like this where I feather it up with the sponge and then when I went in for the third coat I actually did it with um, once I put it on I used an ombre brush quickly off camera and I just literally flicked that yellow up slightly with the ombre brush. I didn't have anything on the ombre brush at all. I literally did it with a dry brush. So they're done, sorted, uh, finished them off camera and I've got this 
glitter which is from glitter planet lemon delight and then i've got this other one it's got a little bit of iridescent stuff in it um it's a little bit finer than the other one um i don't know where it's come from because there's no label on it or anything so i'm going to go in with some base coat as you can see it's still a little bit patchy when it goes towards the nail bed part but i wasn't worried because i'm gonna i'm gonna put lots of glitter over the top of it so you won't see it at the end uh, i am there's no rhyme or reason to putting this on i am just putting it on absolutely anywhere obviously i'm going to leave some gaps because i want to get some of that iridescent on there as well gosh on camera that looks rather they look like red pieces what are in it but it's not it's iridescent stuff but obviously when it goes on to yellow it looks different but it does look red doesn't it how weird so anyway i'm going to do that on all of the nails which i've done off camera just to speed this up a little bit i'm going to go in with some more base coat on top because obviously we've got that glitter on there so i need to smooth it out so we are gonna i tipped it up in the end and tipped some out on my palette because <laughs> it was quicker um yeah so we're going to put a good covering on there and then we're going to pop that in the lamp to cure and then i'm going to go in with some no wipe top coat um i'm going to put a generous layer on of that on all of them i'll just show you the one and then i filed and buffed off camera to get that right down to bare minimum and i've just given them a wipe off quickly with some alcohol and now we're going to go in just with some no no velvet matte yes i nearly said no wipe top coat then no i'm going to go in with some velvet matte so that will be their final layer on there full layer anyway <laughs> right on both the nails that look like this we are going to do a bit of a wiggly line so ta-da like that i'm going to turn it around and go the other way just to make sure it's the same width all the way up and then I'm going to go in and tip over some of that iridescent glitter. So it will stick to that lovely line. Pop it in the lamp to cure. And when it comes out, we can give it a good brush off. Get all of it off. What don't need to be on there. I did the same on the other nail that looks like this. As you can see in the background. And then the only thing at the moment you need to do on this is do another wiggly stripe. But I'm not going to put anything on this one. I'm just going to leave it as a painted stripe. Obviously, it has got a tacky layer. So once it's cured, I'm going to pop a little bit of top coat onto my palette. And I'm just going to go over that line and then pop that in the lamp to cure. I did the same on the other nail off camera. and pop that in the lamp um i've got these little yellow flowers out the usual typical typical little plastic flowers i've got some gold caviar beads out and i've got this little butterfly and he said butterfly then oh my god what is wrong with me <laughs> i mean a butterfly so i've put that on with some decent uh gem glue so it's not going to move anywhere pop that in the lamp to cure while that's in there um, we're just going to go in with some of these little yellow flowers so these are the ones that have the caviar beads in the middle um, I'm just going to put a few flowers on there and then I'm also going to go in with uh, I haven't got enough glue on there had I we're going to go in with some I think they're Alina Crystal ones these are what I got ages ago um they are as i call them clear gold 
so the top part of them is like clear out and you can see the gold underneath so we're just going to put some of them at the top of those flowers and at the bottom I'm going to do exactly the same on the other nail that's got the wiggly pattern um, I'll do that off camera in a second on this one I'm just going to go from the middle of that butterfly and I'm just going to go up and do a, a normal wiggly line as usual don't really a swoosh a swoosh line we can call it and then it once again carrying on with uh, trying to keep them in the same doing a little bit of those gold gems this one I'm going to do some gems and the flowers down the center I'm only going to do them at the top so I think I just put a big one and a small flower oh it took me ages to turn that flower over it was a nightmare and then some more gold gems if you want anything from Madame Glam don't forget my discount code is always on the screen and uh, it's always in the description box with uh, the links and that and there's plenty of the codes down there have a nosy there's lots so I'm just going to go in with caviar beads now on this nice and easy we're just going to put them in the flowers I do put two different size caviar beads on so you can tell the ones what I've used the most because they're empty and then I've put a slightly larger caviar bead in the middle of the others okay on to this one so I'm going to use the petal brush from Mad of Glam it's the first time I've used it so and I thought I'd give it a go um, I did this set was an inspo set from somebody else's and I can't think who it is that's going to bug me I'll try to remember if I remember I'll put it on Instagram but it's an inspo set from what a set what she did and I thought I'd give it a go but I changed it a little bit not a lot but a little bit but all I'm doing is putting some more of that light born down and I'm just doing petals which are going off the edge of the nail and then I've got some uh, glitter planet or nail mate glitter planet acrylic uh, which is called sunshine and I'm just going to tip some of that over it and give it a flick off or give it a tap off cure it and then flick it off with the brush we're coming towards the end now so you will see the complete set and they're done in a moment you'll see them on Richard's hand that's why I've done them as full covers uh, he's kindly been my model again so I've took some photos for to show you at the end uh, if you like my video please leave it a, love, a little thumbs up oh my goodness what's wrong with me and subscribe if you've not already and I'm very happy to subscribe back to you and there you go. Ta-da! Thanks for watching, guys. See you again. Bye.